Hey guys, welcome back. It's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Got something exciting going on. Even though it's super hot out here, we're getting it started. Check this out. Sheet metal's going on. So, I told you we wouldn't run into any problems, right? Well, of course we did. What I realized was after we got started, some issues. I've got this screw here and then the self-tap screw, which is here. So the self-tap screw is uh, to what goes to the C-purlin right here. It's made to go through the metal here, the sheet metal, and into the C-purlin. And this is, this is called C-purlin right here along the walls here problem was is they only sent us one bag of these and the fun of the, the funny part is this is the trim color to match the color is called clay and then this screw looks like a wood screw i'm like they sent us tons of these and so this color matches and it's an overlap screw notice the color here that's what that is it's part of the overlap when it meets you take a sheet, they're three foot wide. It's your overlap screw. And then here are your self-tap screws, which attach to the C-purlin. Different color. That's all we had. And uh, I'm not sh sure if they thought we were screwing into a, a wood building or what. And they gave us tons of the wood looking screws and only one bag of the self-taps. So the self-taps here, are colored for the trim that goes on the corner and on the ridge cap at the top. That was the first problem. And uh, this is as far as we got. We got one piece on right here. Remember this wall is only gonna go 15 feet wide. It's a 30 foot wide barn. This is only going to go about halfway. This is a load and unload area. So it's gonna be a straight wall. A trailer can back up right here this gate swings open here. A trailer gate swings open that way because after you work an animal, if you want to send them to a cell, you've got to work them. And we can send them out here, kind of do everything centralized from here. If you want to kick them out in the pasture after we got some new ones, you can do that. We so, got started. We kind of got in a rhythm and then we're out of self-tap screws. I've got to call the company and figure out what the problem is, but we'll get it straight. We'll have to get these self-tap screws to match and make sure and keep going the same rhythm. But once we got started, it was pretty good. If you watched uh, part one and part two, you saw a lot of the challenges that Austin and I faced um, just building the frame. Um, I think this is part of any construction that you do, a house, um, building, or a barn, whatever it is. I think you just run in these obstacles. Uh, this is my first barn ever, and I think it's part of it, but you do it the best you can. Once I figure out the self-tap screws and the overlap screws, and you got to match the color, once I talk to the company, um, we'll start back over and we'll finish this wall. And then we will probably finish this wall here. And then we're going to start the top. Stay tuned for the uh, next time we start this. Hopefully we'll have everything together. guys it's day two of building this 30 by 50 barn for our bison we're getting these sidewalls up we're getting there
Well, that's enough for today. There's some deer. That's pretty cool. So we're done for today. We've got the north wall done. And then we have it's our 15 foot um, west wall done. We're gonna leave the other half open, getting this uh, tent on top of the roof and I'm sure that'll be real fun. So what a process, uh, this thing is a lot more work than you think it is. stopping point here oh uh -huh. so we're at a stopping point here aren't we oh yeah what'd you say no, no, okay i will i'm gonna finish my video got a little bit to go probably took us uh maybe an hour and a half to lay all of them once you got started it's all about getting started and so we'll finish all this half then we'll come back and we'll start right here we'll go all the way across baby steps though i'll tell you what it is hot up here so we're taking this and uh, we're working this in pieces I want you guys to take a look at this right here so we're going to start the other half today and we're going to get the rest of this top part of the barn done then we're going to come back we're going to finish the end of that truss we're gonna finish the end of that truss. And then the last thing is we'll have our trim to put on. Halfway there. So Kevin is handing the 16 foot sheets, panels. He's putting them over to me up here. I'm basically the guy up top. So I'll stay up there and uh, screwing these sheet metals down. And he's down here at the bottom, handing them up to me. They're 16 foot long, so um, they're kinda they're kind of tough to handle down here on the bottom and then I kind of have to help him pull them up get it set find the grooves make sure our measurements right and line it up and then start screwing them down to that C purlin the toughest part about putting this sheet metal up especially on the top is getting that first one right once you get that first one right it goes pretty quick. You just got to get that first one lined up and then the rest of it will flow together pretty good. Here it is guys, the last sheet. Kevin's cutting that as you can tell, but here 
You're like, oh, there's a gap there. Yeah, well, a barn wasn't that square, okay, for the first time. But we have trim that fits over this, and it's going to be a clay color. So that clay um, ridge cap is actually what it's called, not trim, I guess. But So ridge cap will fit right on this, and then that'll be it as far as the top goes. Then we're going to fill in our trusses and finish our trim. That'll be it. Finally, got the last sheet on the roof is done. Last thing, just gotta add a ridge cap, put our ends on the end of our trusses, trim everything, and we'll be done. I think the, the tough part is done, for sure. Putting on this roof and being up here. It's a cool view, though. It's a nice sunset, and the bison came up at the end of the day.